Hi, welcome to my What Sold This Week on eBay video. I'm Grady with Triple Z Treasures, and we're going to go over some of the sales from my eBay store this week. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, you might remember this fine Scottish plaid hat from a, uh, a church rummage sale. Um, I liked it so much, I wore it in the last video uh, when I was showing it off, and uh, I like this old man hat. Um, so I decided to keep it, so there it is. Sometimes you find things that are so good, you wanna keep them. Uh, this week, my store sold 23 items, and it was a good week. Uh, we had a good run on shoes over the weekend, and I love it when I list things and they sell right away, and I had a couple of those sales. Um, what else? I had a good time with my kids this week. Uh, I had balance in my life, so I can't complain. Work, balance, life. That's what we look for right now. Let's see some stuff that's old. This is a lot of uh, corkscrews and bottle tops and wine tops and um, decanter lids, whatever you want to call it. So I bought this on the uh, shopgoodwill.com and uh, I didn't do great on this. This wasn't a good buy when I actually got them. They were in worse condition than I expected and there wasn't any of them that were super, super valuable. Like I was hoping to get a couple out of this lot that were, you know, worth a good amount of money. But I didn't, so I sold them at auction as a set for $14.95. So um, basically broke even on this one, but that's okay. I live to fight another day. And I'll do a close up here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the ones that are not super fragile and I will put those in a bag together and then the rest of them I will pack them carefully so they don't break on their way to where they are going, to a new home, hopefully to uh, go in a collection or some bottles of liquor. This is a set of three rare books on uh, weapons and ammo of the American Civil War. This is super niche stuff. This is not like something that everyone's looking for. This is the type of thing that only a few people are looking for. Definitely a long tail item. It took a year to sell. I had the three of them uh, on sale at 50% off and they sold for $14.97 plus shipping. So just flip through this real quick. Definitely an important reference book for some people who need to know these types of facts about, uh, you know, weaponry and military history and American history. These were part of a large lot of estate uh, sale books that I bought um, about a year ago. So, off they go in the mail. This is a pair of Doc Martens boots that I sold at auction and they sold for $10.95 plus shipping. Now, a little story about these. I bought these and brought them home, and when I uh, was gonna list them and photograph them, I noticed that the leather seemed like it was starting to crack a little bit, um, which these boots really should not be doing. This leather should not be cracking. If these were a better quality, they would um, not be having this issue. So uh, I listed them for auction instead of buy it now at a much lower price. They still got a few bids and sold about $4 more than the starting price. Um, but again, that's something to watch out for. Usually Doc Martens have very good quality, but something to note on these, which is that these ones are made in China, not in England. And um, this is probably the lowest quality leather I've ever seen on a pair of Doc Martens and uh, I was a little bit disappointed. So perhaps uh, it's a brand that you need to check and make sure that the quality is good uh, before you buy it. This is a Wilson tennis racket hammer system, 4.4. 4. 
Uh, tennis rackets do okay. I sell tennis rackets every once in a while. I don't never go out looking for them, but sometimes when I'm in thrift stores or at yard sales, uh, there's tennis rackets, you know, priced somewhere between like two and five dollars, especially if they have the carrying case with them and they're in good condition and they don't look super vintage. Um, I will always look them up on my phone though, on the eBay app and make sure they actually have value because, you know, more than half the time they are not worth buying. Uh, but this one sold, it needs a, needs a new grip. The material is very crumbly, as you can see there. Um, and I just don't do that. I'm not interested to regrip it. I would rather just sell it at a discount and uh, move on. So this one is going off, I believe, to Virginia, and it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. This is three pairs of shoes that sold this weekend. Two of them were listed uh, within 24 hours of selling, so I'm super happy about that. I love it when that happens. All right, let's check them out. This is a pair of Keen hiking uh, boots, low top uh, hiking shoes. It's got a steel toe. Uh, it's in decent condition. They show somewhere. They've been upgraded with Dr. Scholl's inserts that are in very good condition, and they sold for full price of $44.95 plus shipping. I was very happy because I'd received a very low offer and I countered it and that person declined the offer and then within an hour they sold for full price. So don't be afraid to turn down those uh, low offers. This is a pair of Timberland moccasin style boat shoes. Got the Timberland logo, they're in good condition, lightly used. And they took about a year to sell, maybe somewhere between eight months and a year. So kind of a long time, but they sold for full price at $39.95 with free shipping. This is a pair of Brooks shoes. Uh, I really like Brooks. Actually, for my own running shoes, I like to buy Brooks Cascadia. They have a very cool, like, trail running shoe look. And uh, we got them all cleaned up. And they sold right away for $39.95 with free shipping. Here are three more things that sold over the weekend. This is a Brother label printer. It, um prints uh, on a paper called A7 that's very small, so it's a label size. Surprisingly, there's been a good market for these. I bought uh, 11 of these in an auction, and um, I was skeptical if they would sell quickly at all. I've only got one left, and I've made a decent profit. They've been selling somewhere between $54 and $59, and uh, it's new in the box, and people seem to like them. I get a lot of questions on them, and I'm not really able to answer the technical questions. I just refer them back to the data in the listing. So that's on its way. Believe it or not, CDR Media still sells. These were a thrift store find and, uh, you know, paid very little for them. It sold for $9.99 for two with free shipping. This is a vintage deck of playing cards. You can see it's got a floral motif and comes in a little plastic case. And that sold for $3.95 with the buyer paying shipping. This is a vintage uh, Gilbert and Sullivan sheet music album with a bunch of songs on it. Um, and it is from 1950, I believe. It's in very good condition, this book. And I love when stuff like this happens. It has this very nicely written name of the previous owner in Bronx, New York. And it's all sheet music. So I'm not going to show you too much of that. You get the idea. If you know Gilbert and Sullivan, this is probably your kind of thing. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is a set of 20 vintage uh, plates by Corel in the Harvest Gold butterfly pattern. So you can see that's super vintage looking. And there's the, there's the mark. Let's see if I can focus. Corral, there we go. Corning wear. Uh, the early pieces a lot of times are also Pyrex and they looked slightly differently than these ones. And so this is, I believe, dinner plate, salad plate, and uh, dessert plate, or just general small plate. And they're going off to Texas. Have fun, guys. Hey, guys. Now I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that sold on eBay online. Uh, I'll show you some of the listings. These are things that were uh, shipped and I wasn't able to film them uh, in person. So we'll go over the listings and look at the photos. Uh, starting off though, I am bidding on this pair of Adidas Jeremy Scott Wings shoes. 
Um, these uh, tend to resell anywhere between uh, $100 and uh, $250, depending on condition. So uh, I'm buying these shoes on eBay specifically to flip them. Um, if you've never thought of that, you can flip things on eBay. I do it all the time. Um, so there's two minutes left in this, in this auction, and so far I am winning. So let's hope I win. We'll come back to that. All right, so here's some of the things that sold. Uh, starting off, a LaToya Jackson t-shirt, a vintage t-shirt, um, sold for $30 with free shipping. The pictures are terrible. I, I, uh, this was before I had my photo studio set up, and so I took these pictures up against my green wall, my green stucco wall on the outside of my house. And despite that, I've sold a lot of t-shirts. Uh, so this is another thing I bought on eBay. I bought a lot of about 50 music t-shirts, all kinds of different bands and types of music, and uh, they've sold pretty well. So I've definitely made money doing that, uh, flipping t-shirts on eBay. So this sold for $29.99 with free shipping. All right, I am not a huge Barbie guy. I don't know much about Barbies. It's a category I don't really sell in. but I did go to a thrift store and they had a bunch of new Barbie stuff. And so uh, I bought three Barbie items and I've already sold two of them. Uh, this one sold, I think I took a best offer for $14.95 on this one with free shipping. If you're into looking at Barbies, here I'll show you the box. It's from the 1990s, I think 93, and still in the package. Pretty nice, I guess, if that's your thing. M.C. Escher's Legacy, a centennial celebration signed by the author. I tried to sell this book for $100 initially, um, and then I kept lowering the price and kept lowering the price. I figured because it was signed and in really good condition. Uh, it says, to Casey, enjoy uh, Escher's Legacy, signed by the author. I'm pretty sure this came from my cousin Casey, who is a mathematician. So uh, I think he gave me this book. Ended up selling it in the end. Um, at 50% off after it was already marked down a bunch, sold for $9.97 plus shipping. So there you go. Sometimes you try and get that high price and it just doesn't pan out. I'm happy to get it sold. I got it for free. So um, this is a, a human body model, uh, anatomy model. Um, it's small. I know it looks big in that picture, but it's maybe like, you know, 10 inches tall once it's assembled. There's the box. Um, I got this as part of a, uh, a big auction lot. Oh, let's see what's happening with the shoes here. All right. It looks like I just won this auction for $21.50 plus $17.15 shipping. So um, less than 40 bucks. I picked up these shoes. I'm going to resell them right away. So you will probably see them in another video coming up of the uh, what I got video or what listed or whatever. So yay, you saw it here, real time. I just won the auction, that's great. All right, moving on. Um, I got this skeleton as part of a big toy lot. If you go to liquidation.com, you can buy uh, huge lots of uh, toys that are Amazon returns. And so I bought one of those. I got, I don't know, like 100 toys or something like that. A lot of them are, in unsellable condition. Uh, I'm not crazy about that process. I haven't gone back and, and bought more. I did that twice and I might be done buying those types of items. But if you like to resell new consumer items that are current and not vintage um, and you're into toys, uh, liquidation.com, go check it out. All right, I sold another uh, quick sew sewing pattern. Uh, like I've said before, I geek out on these. I just think they're, they're fun to sell. I listed a bunch of men's sewing patterns recently, and they've been selling for good prices, between $10 and $15 a piece, which is great, because I think I paid about $0.08 cents for each of these. Um, so this is a hoodie, jumpsuit, tracksuit, that sort of thing. So someone into fashion, into making clothes, is going to pick that up. And what else? I think this is the last item. I sold a vintage apron from the 1960s or 70s. It's very stylish, very cool, and it sold for $6.95 plus shipping. All right, I got to go. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.